go bank needs a comeback and quite frankly it's your decisions that's keeping your wallet on a diet look around you how many unnecessary things did you buy this christmas and you still wonder where did that all cash disappear to well grab a seat and we're about to expose the main culprit for your empty pockets and get ready to ditch all of them immediately welcome folks this is vivek and today we are diving into nitty gritty of what is sabotaging your financial game let me tell you something everybody's after your money and nobody can create more money except the government which will get into that into our future videos but for ordinary people the only way to make more money is by taking somebody else's money by creating a services or selling a product so each time you buy a product you are transferring your money to somebody else so that they can get rich the end goal is not to make more money but to keep your own money with you. The easiest way to do that is by transferring your hard-earned money to somebody else on unnecessary things. All right, let's get into the chase. We have yeah. all been juggling in the circus of life, and this is a time to do these habits and make it rain where it counts. Habit number one that you absolutely need to ditch right now is paying yourself last. This phrase I heard first in Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He explains the number one reason poor stays poor is because they pay everybody else before they pay themselves. As soon as your paycheck comes in, you pay rent, you pay electricity bill, and you keep aside occasional takeaways money. And after that, you try to save whatever is left, if any. I told you before, Everybody here is trying to take your money and you are doing exactly what they want. You have worked 40 to 50 hours for this hard earned money and what is left at the end for you. This is even true after COVID as more and more people are leaving paychecks to paychecks. Be stingy with your money and find ways to make those expenses cheap. I want you to do one thing. As soon as you get your paychecks, I want you to put away 10% of your income into your saving. You cannot touch this money unless you are dying. I know what you're thinking. You cannot afford to put 10% of your income into saving with all the bills. I'm telling you, you are wrong. Remember the times you have lived and survived on $20 a week. And some other times, even 200 is not enough. It's all about your mentality. And when you put your mind in a survival mode, it will find all the creative ways to utilize your money. I personally save up to 30% of my income. And once that goes to into my saving account, nobody is getting that money. So try yourself, give yourself 10% of your income and see how much you can save. Second habit that most poor people do, what I like to call is clear and sell conundrum. And I find myself doing this more often as well because it looks like that I'm saving huge amount of money. And most people don't realize that they are spending more money than they intend to. I'll give you an example. I went to supermarket yesterday to buy one can of baked beans. It was price $1.55 each but it was on sale if you buy two of them it was three dollars now obviously i bought two of them but in reality i spent dollar 45 more than i needed to and i intend now if you are going to use both of the product by all means go and buy them but if you don't intend to use the second one do not buy them i'll give you a tip always remember if you are not going to use that second product in the next 30 days, do not buy them, even if it is slightly cheaper. Number three, not procrastinating. I know it sounds counterproductive, but let me explain. You can use 30 days method before purchasing as well. If you need to buy non-essential product like clothes, shoes, or furniture, procrastinate for 30 days and see how you feel after 30 days. If you need that product even after 30 days, go ahead and buy that product, only if it is on sale. In this case, you are using your procrastination to save money 
and to genuinely find out whether you need that product. More than 50% of time, you weren't buying up that product because it was your emotion that was trying to impulse buy on a spot. Use this method and let me know how much money you save. Habit number four that is keeping you broke is avoiding money conversations. When was the last time you talked about money with your friends or family members? I understand that discussing about money can be difficult for many. Whether it's a salary negotiation, discussing with families, or even seeking financial advices. But it is keeping you poor in the long run. But it is costing you a lot in the long run avoiding these financial conversations. I can guarantee that your friends are going through the same financial situation as you are. So if you cannot afford to go for a brunch, have an honest discussion with them. Most likely they are going through the same financial situation that you are. Why not save some money? Even better, why not chip in some money to make food together? This will increase the quality of time in your friendship and save you both a lot of money. Let's get into habit number five, alcohol. If you are broke, this is the first thing I want you to cut. There's a reason I put this at the end. If I put this in the front, I know that you'll click away and wouldn't hear any of the habits that I was going to tell you. I want you to listen carefully and I'm not going to sugarcoat it to you. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you how bad alcohol is. You know better than me. But I want you to ask one question. How much of control you have when you are drinking alcohol? Can you stop after one drink? Or can you not drink at all when other people are drinking? If the answer is no, then you, my friend, is addicted. There is a common misconception that you have to drink 10 drinks or drink so much that you can't even walk to be addicted. But they are wrong. You are addicted if you cannot control how and when you consume it. You need to tackle this addiction head on before you do anything. Personally, I barely drank in the last one year. Whenever I drink, I have full control of when and how I drink it, whenever I drink it. My suggestion is, if you are between age of 15 to 25, do not even consume alcohol. This is the time to become successful, and after that, you can think about it. There you have it, five habits that might be high-fiving your broke status, but fear not. Because recognizing these habits is the first step of reclaiming your financial throne. Hit that like button if you are ready to kick these habits to the curb and smash if you like our weekly videos. Until next time, stay financially fabulous and I will see you next week. Peace.